greetings to all the viewers of Librate.com. I appreciate the work Librate is doing for the benefit of doctors and mankind. Medical profession these days is being most under observation and I can say under watch for what we doctors are doing to the patients. We are all open to correction, we are all open to scrutiny and uh, we have to discharge our best in a most competitive way and most comprehensive way in the interest of the patient and putting minimum burden on the pocket of the patient. India is one of the best countries as far as its doctors are concerned. Our doctors are second to none in the world. We have lots of setups, either it is a corporate setup or is a private setup or is a personal setup or it is a government setup, state and central both. And for the patient at times it becomes very difficult to find a suitable doctor. Nowadays people are locating doctors online, they choose their doctors, they come to them, they observe them what they are doing to them. We have primary duty to alleviate the suffering of the patients. We have also bigger duties as far as society is concerned to prevent the diseases. If we cannot cure at least we have to treat the patients and that is the minimum we can do. Patients expectations are very high from the doctors because it is a noble profession. India is under threat of various diseases. The various diseases which are threatening the Indian population are coronary artery disease hypertension, diabetes mellitus, diseases related to lifestyle, also accidents, cancers, bone diseases in the form of epidemic of osteoporosis and a number of infections which threaten all the group, all age groups of populations and also we have got some disasters, we have to manage that also. I was personally involved in VVIP care at a very young age of 35 years. I was chosen to be physician to Indian President Mr. R. Venkatraman and that was a very big achievement for me as a youngster and he appointed me on the merit. Second important thing happened in my career was that after serving Mr. R. Venkatraman for his term, I was appointed physician to the President Shankar Dayal Sharma Sahib. He continued me and which has happened in the history of the President Secretariat for the first time. I continued to work in RML Hospital in Delhi and seeing a number of host of patients and variety of diseases in the Department of Medicine both indoor and OPD. I used to have maximum crowds in my OPD because of various reasons and after working for another 10 years, I was appointed again by the President of India Mr. Pranam Mukherjee for his full tenure and I superannuated in the Rashtrapati Bhavan from there. Throughout my career, I had some goals, ambitions, visions. My goal since from my childhood was that I should do everything with perfection to my fullest dedication, devotion and should produce the best results. It was with ultimate dedication that times I had to compromise my family needs, my children needs and my own comforts. I have almost worked 24 by 7 since I have entered the medical profession, never gone on leave. My all the leave during service has gone sacrificed and till date I am working 24 by 7. I work also on Sundays, see patients free of cost at my residential clinic. I am presently working at Gangaram Hospital and senior consultant in the Department of Medicine by the kind blessings of Dr. D. S. Rana. And Vice Chairman, Head of the Department of Medicine, Dr. S. P. Biotra. I have a nice place to work and there also I am trying to do some social work. We are also rich in academics. So both the fields are important for the doctors, academic accomplishments as well as patient care, clinical and both investigational. And at times I have felt that I am doing a good job because lots of patients come to me after the tertiary care centers. 
and uh, sometimes I find something hidden in their diagnosis, I relocate their diagnosis, feed them and they give me a lot of thanks. This profession to me is like my tapasya and that is what I try to maintain throughout my career. I was selected in the GSVM Medical College in 1970. I passed from there with a good position and rank and after that I did my doctor in medicine that is MD and a few fellowships were offered to me one through WHO and other while traveling with Mr. VP Singh at the Mayo Clinic because I was former Prime Minister's physician for the period I was not physician to the President and there in the RML hospital I was discharging duties for the general patients to my maximum. My patient data in the government records is of maximum patients seen during that tenure. India is under threat of the coronary artery disease, diabetes, mellitus, hypertension, infections and a host of diseases related to lifestyle as I have said. The beauty of medical profession is that we can prevent these diseases. We can treat them when they are fully uh, blown off, but we can still prevent these diseases and do some modifications in our diet, daily routine, food and our stress management and most of it can be prevented. So my present stress is on prevention of these diseases which have a component which is related to our lifestyle. As far as heart disease is concerned, nowadays we do not get much valvular heart disease like we used to get when I was a student, rheumatic heart disease, but still we get. We get more of coronary artery disease, we get more of cardiac failure, we get quite a bit of hypertension which is at times get a back seat. But let me tell you here that hypertension multiplies the risk of sudden deaths due to coronary artery disease. So we have to be very careful in treating blood pressure. I have ran several campaigns to find out the blood pressure in the school boys, in the general population. I have found that 10 to 15 percent people have high blood pressure out of which half of them were not aware of the hypertension which they were carrying. Similarly, diabetes. 2 out of 5 do not know till the time it produces complications that they are going to have diabetes. In fact, diabetes develops once 30 percent of the pancreas gets destroyed. So, we have a huge responsibility and I am proud to call myself as a physician because these days doctors have specialized, my colleagues have gone in the various specialties. And it is very difficult to find a holistic doctor these days. We need more of a holistic care these days. This is very important why I am making this point is that a patient walks in our chamber as a whole and he is not concerned with what I am doing as a super specialist to him. He is concerned to get solution to all his problems. So my message to my colleagues is that we should offer care under one roof. We have super specialized, we have specialized and we are doing best job in our fields, but still there is something which is called holistic care which is missing. I have done this especially for geriatric people, I have got a fellowship from the Michigan University through WHO as I have said in the early part of my talk and through which I had an inclination that a geriatric patient especially needs a holistic care because he has multi-system involvement. By virtue of aging, by virtue of having various complications throughout his disease which he is harboring. So my stress remains that even every patient who comes and walks into my clinic either at Gangaram hospital or my private clinic, I should treat the patient holistically. Of course, I take the help of a specialist, my colleagues, somewhere when I encounter emergencies, I get them admitted. India has a great burden of communicable diseases also. We have recently reduced the incidence of tuberculosis. We have made the India polio free. But passion to treat people irrespective of our earnings is the most important which I try to inculcate in myself. At times I come across patients who have very severe diabetes, they have infections, they have kidney involvement, they have other complications, coronary complications, stroke and these are all preventable as I said. And 
A great deal of it goes for improvement in our lifestyle through yoga, through exercise, through regulation of eating. I tell people that if you can avoid three whites like salt, sugar and ghee, then you can conquer at least 50% of them. Then regular exercise at least 30 minutes a day for five days a week can also improve our prevention towards communicable, non-communicable diseases which has a great burden. Regular exercise for 30 minutes a day, five days a week minimum can also prevent a host of non-communicable disease burden. Then comes yoga. Yoga is also very important. I have tried yoga is very important aspect of holistic healing and through yoga pranayam we can prevent lot of lifestyle related diseases. I would briefly talk about modern medicine that we have progressed a lot, we have done a lot of research also, we have learned about Indian patterns of coronary artery disease, diabetes, mellitus, obesity and number of other diseases which are prevalent in India like infections. And we have designed the modules and ways and methods of treating these diseases. And India is great in a sense that our hospitals provide lot of stuff, lot of patients, through them we learn. So I call myself still a student, I learn every day from my patients while treating them, while talking to them and this makes every day as a learning process. Apart from that, there is another epidemic which is creeping in the society which is depression. Depression has also to be combated. There are various small things in our life day to day happening which lead to this syndrome of depression. So depression makes the disease worse. Therefore, we should also make some part of questionnaire while we are treating the patient to treat their depression. When I practice, I see to it that I should take a good thorough history, I should elicit the signs and symptoms of the patient's disease, I should communicate well with my patients and through communication we can treat the patient better. Better communication brings out better history, better diagnosis and gives us chance to treat the patient better. So this is my compassion. Also that I have taken part in the various preventive programs, I have taken part in the various schemes through my government job. I have offered my services to the healthy group of people like I was chairman of the medical board in the early part of my career. I have done lots of other procedures and I have treated some poor patients who have got coronary artery disease by counselling by yoga, by exercise and at times I have saved some of them through going various procedures and saved their money also. So my message to the community, to the society, to the doctors is that medical profession is under thorough scrutiny. We are very respected components of the society. We will get more respect if we practice our if we practice our profession diligently, holistically, with full dedication and becoming part of the patient's problems and try to solve them. Other side of the story is that we should be very humble, we should be productive and we should be patient ourselves. Thank you very much.